Yeah, this is my follow-up video on Brandon Rios versus Manny Pacquiao. And if you go watch my first video, I had an echo in it. And um, I picked Brandon Rios to win. Um, technically, Pacquiao's probably the more sound fighter. Uh, he's that he's that in-and-out fighter. He comes in, comes out. And um, a lot of people are saying that uh, Rios is going to win because of Pacquiao's knockout loss he took. The thing is, um, but that's not the only reason why I picked Brandon Rios to win that fight. Obviously, I do think Pacquiao's the more technically better fighter, more sound fighter. He got the, he got the advantage in speed. Um, I don't know about power, but definitely speed. Speed hurts and kills, but at the same time, um, Pacquiao... He's been fighting people who, who they, he was making them come down to his weight. He's been draining them, making them come down. And the one time he fights someone who's coming up, uh, he loses, which is Bradley and um, uh, Marquez. But we we know Marquez and Bradley are better boxers than Rios. But it, the key the key thing that Pacquiao has when he fights is he catches people at angles and off off guard when they're coming in. He uh he catches them. He comes in, hits, comes out, and lets them chase him, and then catches them when they're off balance and shit. And that's how he gets. It. That's how he um he really gets them. But Rios doesn't do that. He doesn't jump in. He comes forward. Uh, he's your average. He's your average uh, brawler. I want to say average because he does have a good chin and he has a hard punch and he just comes forward with his hand guard up and gets in your chest and just starts throwing punches. And at the same time, Rios, his last couple fights, he hasn't been looking that good because he's been weight drained, man. He's been getting, he's been weight drained in all his fights. Um, we haven't seen him at his at a good weight for him, you know. Recently, he's he's been coming in at the weight at weigh-ins, looking like a zombie. He's always weight drained, um, or he looks like a raisin, you know. Where he hasn't been drinking water. We haven't seen him at a healthy weight. 147 is a move up. He probably is bigger than 147. Um, but we haven't seen him at that weight. He'll probably have a lot more power. A lot more stamina. Um, there's a lot of other keys into this fight that people just aren't looking into. Um, a lot of people think that people are picking Rios just because... Just because Manny's been knocked out, well, that's one thing um, to look at. Uh, but there's a lot of other key factors into this fight of Rio Rios coming in at a higher weight. We haven't seen him at it at, at 147 yet. Pacquiao's used to fighting people coming down, making them come down. To, you know, um, at a catch weight, uh, he doesn't look so good at fighting guys coming up, but. At the same time, those the guys he's been fighting and coming up are a little better boxers than uh, Rios. It's just there's just a lot more things to look at in this fight. Um, I don't think it's as, such a mismatch as people think it is. I know I I've been wrong in the past four fights. I've gotten four fights in a row in a row wrong. Um, before that, I had gotten ten right in a row. So I don't know, man. Um, We'll we'll have to see. Uh, I I go for the underdog a lot, man. Um, I hope that's not why I'm doing picking uh, Rios. It seems like I I have been going for the underdog a lot recently. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm still I'm gonna stick by my original pick. I'm not gonna flip flop on it. 